Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekend messages readings and it will be from Saturday the 18th to Sunday the 19th of December 2021. Remember these readings are mini tarot readings where we look at the potential energies around you um, for the next few days as the readings can resonate a few days longer than when they are released. And they won't resonate with everybody. So as always, just take what resonates with you. I have done a separate energy reading on the full moon in Gemini. So do check that out if you haven't already, because it will give you maybe some insight, certainly into the energies that I was picking up as a reader for the next few days. So without further ado, let's get straight into these readings. And as always, I wish you a wonderful weekend. Capricorn, let's see what we have for you. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's see what we have for you, Capricorn. Remember, take what resonates, Capricorn. And I am using the Druid Tarot deck for those of you who are interested. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn, please? Message for our lovely Capricorns, thank you. Okay, Capricorns, so we start with the Nine of Wands, sometimes called the Wounded Warrior. We have the, <laughs> nice, we have the Six of Wands here. Five of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. This feels, for some of you, like victory is within sight, even though you don't know it. And, you know, the Six of Pentacles is a really nice energy, certainly with the Five of Pentacles of Help is provided by God, the universe, the divine, when you need it most. This is an energy of it's your time to receive. You will get the help, the support that you need. It might well be the universe brings in situations, events unfolding, people to help you through some kind of situation here. And I'm getting a couple of threads with this Capricorn. So for some of you, the Five of Pentacles can represent lack in terms of money, career, finances, you know, for whatever reason. I mean, that could be changes in employment, changes in your role, changes in your contract. Again, for the detriment, somebody feeling lack. It can also be about lack mentality. I'm not paid enough for what I do. Um... This can sometimes link with debt as well. So again, dealing with some kind of debt issue. The message with this Capricorn, now the Six of Pentacles, again, helpful influences. The Six of Pentacles can be a monetary thing. So this can be somebody reaching out, offering you something that could be an opportunity. That could be a sum of money or getting the help that you need or the people uh, coming into your life that are going to provide assistance and support to help you out of whatever this issue is. So again, it is an energy of it's your time to receive and be open to receive for that reason. So again, whatever, whatever this situation is, Capricorn, it feels this is an energy, somebody reaching out, offering you something that is going to remedy or help remedy the situation. Because the Nine of Wands is a card of something is such a trial, it's such a challenge. Um, and again, this can be the energy of it's so difficult, I don't know whether to throw in the towel and just walk away. But there's a persistence and a determination with the Nine of Wands because the end is closer than you think. So again, in terms of money areas, somebody could be reaching out, offering you something. Again, it could be in terms of a, a new job, if, if some of you are not completely happy with your circumstances. 
Again, it could be to do with debt management as well. I, I feel in this energy, you know, this is an energy of, of change is closer than you think. Now, sometimes that can manifest in one final thing to go, one final push, one final hurdle. For some of you, it could be interviews, probably with a new organisation, maybe for some of you. It could be to do with um, meetings, presentations, um, again, connecting with the right people to help you over the finish line. So that is what I'm getting here. Because the six of wands is winning. Winning over the thing that's challenged you. For those of you who have been competing for um, jobs, new jobs, new contracts, this is a very good sign of winning and beating the competition. For those of you, again, who it's been an arduous process in dealing with the money issue that you've been facing, I feel help is offered to help you release the burden. Remember, the Nine of Wands is one less than the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is the ultimate feeling of the burden, but it's that point where you can release it. So this is that energy of overcoming the thing that has really challenged you the most and putting it behind you. And the two sixes in this reading is equilibrium being restored. So very good news in terms of positive changes in abundance. Again, for some of you, there may well be new employment, new contracts, new offers being made to you. For others of you, this is an energy of, of getting the support that you need. I mean, this could be a family member. This could be some kind of um, support agency. You know, again, for some of you, it could represent that. But what it will do, and this, the energy is be open to receive, it will help you overcome the challenge that you have faced and put you on that even equilibrium again, restore harmony. So I feel in this energy, even though it's been challenging here, Capricorn, this is the energy of it's your time to receive, be open to receive, because spirit is bringing in help where you need it the most to bring in a victory, a successful achievement. Okay, final message for Capricorn. Final message for Capricorn, please. We have dog, divine service. How can you serve yourself better? So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Oh, I've also got Ladybird at the bottom of this deck. I did look, so I'm going to say it. Look, all of your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard. It's an energy of answered prayers and a little bit of luck coming to you. That's what I have. Really hopeful reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.